Hello everyone. Welcome to Foam Dude. This is the first video in the series of videos that I'll be making uh, in the time to come. Uh, so the first video is really for the people who are literally just starting out with OpenFoam with no prior introduction to OpenFoam. So if you've used OpenFoam before, please uh, feel free to move to the next video. Uh, this video is not for you. Uh, if you have had even the basic most introduction to the case setup, I would say uh, skip this video. This video is again uh, not for you. So this video is really for the people who are starting fresh, uh, who have not installed uh, OpenFoam yet. So let's start with uh, some details on how to install OpenFoam. Uh, what you're going to do is uh, go to the Google and search something like install OpenFoam. Uh, pick the first link that you find. Uh, you're going to find details on the latest version available. So as you can see right now, the current released version is version 5.0. If you wish, you can choose an earlier release, maybe 2.3 or 4.0, if uh, you're dealing with some legacy code or if you have to choose a legacy version. Uh, if you want to be at the, at the bleeding edge of the software, then you can choose uh, the development version, which you can find under under the download uh, dropdown. You can choose either the latest version that is released, or you can choose the development version. OpenFoam is maintained in always releasable mode, so you will find the most up-to-date releases every week. So uh, you can simply upgrade the released version uh, to your uh, latest available version uh, through a simple command. Since I'm using Ubuntu, uh, I'm going to go and install on Ubuntu, but you can simply uh, choose another option to install on any other uh, Linux distribution, or alternately you can choose the Docker option for Windows or uh, Mac systems. Um, they have given some uh, really nice uh, commands that you can simply copy paste in terminal to install OpenFoam on your computer. If you're not familiar with what terminal is or what terminal does, uh, then you can simply uh, type into the search box here, terminal, and it's going to uh, give you the first option as terminal. Or you can look for this icon in the in the in the dock here. So right here, it's my uh, terminal. I'm not going to go in details of what terminal does or how to operate terminal. Please, uh, you can feel free to read up online about what terminal does. Uh, I've already installed OpenFoam on my computer, so I'm not going to repeat the commands. Uh, I will simply activate OpenFoam. Uh, you probably won't need to do this since I have multiple versions of, of OpenFoam on my computer. Uh, I have to activate one or the other version of OpenFoam. But for this uh, set, this kind of setup, uh, I will make another video. Uh, you will you will not have to do this uh, at this point. So once you install uh, OpenFoam with th these commands that they have given here, you have to add a single line in OpenFoam uh, or rather for OpenFoam in your Bash. Uh, that can be done with typing something like gedit. Uh, you have to point to the home directory and type in something like bash rc. In this bash rc file, you're going to find my alias for OpenFoam dev, this line right here. If you don't have multiple versions of OpenFoam, you're not going to have any of this, and you will simply have dot and everything else after this line. So it will look like dot space, everything else here. So uh, please make sure that you edit this line and to check whether you have properly installed OpenFoam or not, you can simply type simple and press tab and it should be able to correct to simple form, which happens to be one of the solvers. Uh, it will auto correct itself to some other type of solver, maybe IcoFoam, for example. Um, so if it's auto completing, then that means your installation has been successful. Uh, there's a quick uh, trick, a little neat trick here in Bash that cleans your Bash. So you can simply uh, type in Control L. It's going to wipe out everything that's uh, that was above uh, the line that you were on uh, at the moment. So this line, this particular command, Control L, is very useful when you're dealing with uh, 
with uh, maybe solver output where you have a bunch of things printed out in the terminal you can clear all of that uh, with control L uh, literally it's just it's like a bunch of scrolls so it's gonna scroll down to the latest line and move the whole uh, cursor uh, space to the current line so if you want to see what was before uh, before the line that you see here you can just scroll up and you will be able to see that all right uh, if you are new to Linux, I would say uh, you should follow this guide. Go, go to Google and search something like OpenFOAM Linux Guide. So the first link that you find, please uh, go to that list and find all the commands. This is like a short course on Linux and all the Linux commands that you will be using uh, while you're spending time with OpenFOAM. Uh, I would highly, highly recommend going through all of these commands at least once because they are extremely useful and it's like a one-stop shop for all the necessities uh, you will encounter uh, while you work uh, or in your work in OpenFOAM. Uh, so with given that, let's try to see uh, how you can start using OpenFOAM for your applications. So let's say you have a, a certain application that requires just heat conduction solution. So first thing that you have to do in OpenFOAM is find a suitable solver for your physics. So consider the fact that for this test, you're going to solve heat conduction. So what you're going to do is go to Google and type something like GitHub dev uh, OpenFOAM or maybe OpenFOAM dev GitHub. So all the OpenFOAM source code is hosted on GitHub, uh, which is available for free. So open the first link and you're going to see the source code of OpenFOAM. So for the application that we just said that we, we, we are going to solve for heat conduction, you're going to go in applications and all the solvers are listed under this uh, solvers folder. So in the solvers folder, you're going to see uh, several categories. Um, so let's go in basic for now. We will go in details of all other solvers in the time to come. So let's go in Laplacian foam and let's try to look in Laplacian foam.c. So every solver has a .c file which shows what equation is, uh, is being solved. So in the while loop you're going to see here, it's going to, it's going to solve a matrix equation TEQN. It's a T equation and it's uh, dt of t minus Laplacian of dtt equals fv options of t. So this is a time derivative of t, uh, this is a Laplacian of dt and t, and fv options of t is a source term in the equation t. So this is a way uh, you can determine which solver is suitable for your application. You can simply look at the while loop and look at the equation that, is, that it is solving, and that can help you determine uh, which solver to choose for your application. If you don't find a suitable solver, then you will need to write your own solver in the same fashion that you see uh, this solver. It's not, it's not very difficult to write your own solver if you know how to write a solver. You can simply pick up one of the existing solvers and start modifying it. Uh, and that makes uh, OpenFOAM really useful, versatile and beautiful that you can pick existing uh, architecture and existing solvers to create your custom solvers to solve your physics. Uh, we will go into details of how to build your custom solvers in, uh, in one of the tutorials that will follow after this. Uh, so stay tuned for that. Now assuming you have installed OpenFOAM and you are ready to solve heat conduction equation, uh, you are going to copy one of the uh, existing tutorials for heat conduction and solve it as a test case. So I'm going to go to my desktop. I'm going to create a directory called, let's say, foam dude. I'm going to go to the directory that we just created, and I'm going to copy a tutorial with this command, cp-r, that means copy recursively, something from foam tutorials. I'm going to go to basic folder, the same folder that we just saw, basic Laplace info and there is this test case called flange. So I'm going to copy all of this in my current directory which is denoted by a full stop. So I'm going to copy recursively the flange directory in foam2. Now again if you press ctrl L it's going to clear everything. If you press ls it's going to show you the directory flange. So I'm going to go in flange directory 
and you will see that there are two scripts all clean and all run so all clean is going to clean your case that means it's going to clean your uh, solution if it has already been solved and all run is going to solve your solution so uh, let's quickly run the simulation with all run and then we can look at how to set up your cases in the in the next tutorial so as you can see it is running several things and it has already solved to see the results you're going to do paraform it's a it's a flavor of paraview which is uh, tweaked for open form purposes there we go so we have the flange uh, the solution is ready you can you can view the solution here uh, as you can see right now the time step that it is showing is time step 0 you can see the temperature boundary condition on the internal faces as 573 and all the external faces boundary condition is 273 so let's go to the last time step which is the 30th time step and that's your uh, solution for cell values of temperature if you want to see the interpolated point values of temperature a more uh, I would say uniform uh, interpolated kind of uh, colorful plot then this is your solution uh, thanks for listening stay tuned the next tutorial would be uh, how to set up your cases uh, some details on basic case setup in open form and uh, we will take it from there thanks see you in the next one